Hi guys, it's been really, really long time. I know that. Uh, really got busy with some other stuff. Occasionally, I'll pull some time out and uh, create some videos which might be useful for all of you. Uh, but one more interview question. There is this gentleman called Shashwat. Uh, <clears throat> called me and asked me that uh, there was some question asked to him. The question was, you're supposed to use a while loop and whatever the stuff which is there in the live while loop it could be some request it could be some script it could be the actions that you're calling okay whatever is there in the while loop that needs to execute for 30 minutes and once after 30 minutes uh, you know it should automatically come out of that while loop okay so let's say you you can create another action and call that action into this while loop and then that action will continue to execute uh, you know and then uh, the while loop you know it is to execute for 30 minutes that's what it is whatever is there put some request put some transactions whatever it is here i have put some think time okay think time of one second just to make sure you know the the the, the session or this video is uh, you know is uh, it could be completed in uh, you know for five five minutes or you know make the video short i've used the think time but here you can use your web request transactions actions or whatever okay so now whatever the stuff which is there in the while loop that's supposed to execute for 30 minutes so first of all we have to get the seconds because everything in load runner is in seconds so 30 minutes will be 30 multiplied by 60 so it is 1800 seconds so you put while duration is 1800 seconds which means that this while loop will execute for 30 minutes and once it is more than 30 minutes it will automatically come out of it but before that what you have to do is you have to declare a couple of variables uh, one is time elapsed and one is duration i'll tell you how we have used these uh, uh, variables and then one timer the timer is will keep the time you know how much time it got executed and all that it will keep the time okay so i've uh, declared i've used this timer and declared a couple of variables okay now i'll tell you why this duration i've used this variable here but a little later okay you got into the while loop now okay so while the duration is less than 1800 seconds it's seconds converted the 30 minutes into seconds okay so now you start the timer you see there's a function called lr start timer if you wanted to see more about it you click on that function press f1 it will give you all the information about that like you know what is that timer and all that the timer will start the timer that calculates the passage of time in seconds so that is the reason why uh, we have converted this uh, uh, minutes into seconds okay because this function uh, the lr start timer will give you in seconds okay the resolution depends upon the runtime settings okay so <clears throat> Uh, so LR end timer will stop the timer that's what it is okay so now uh, we have used this function as well I believe okay and you wanted to check how it is used you know you can click on that example and that's how I've created this as well okay I'm using this example only I've created this small uh, uh, you know uh, uh, script for you now you have your web request whatever it is instead of the web request I've put a think time think time you can put 10 seconds one second whatever it is okay I've put one second here now as i've told you right you have to end the timer okay uh, i have used lr end timer to end the timer now the time elapsed will give you how much time this request took here uh, it is uh, it is your think time but in the real world with your web submit data or you know whatever it is web submit data or web custom request or okay so uh, you you will have the request okay so you web custom request or you know whatever it is so um, or web underscore URL, whatever the request it is, you, you will have that request here. Then you will end the timer and the timer. So it will tell you how much time this particular request or action or your transaction taken. Okay. Now <clears throat> you calculate the duration. Duration is, and now once it ends the timer, right? Whatever the time that it has taken, you know, you have started the timer here. Okay. And you have ended the timer here. Okay. So LR start timer and then you have assigned it to the timer and then you have you have ended this timer if you have multiple timers you can put timer one timer two and you have to tell here which timer to end you know timer one you have to end timer two you have to end and all that here i have only one timer so i'm ending that timer here and whatever the time that it took between these two statements that time is captured here in the time elapsed okay uh, <clears throat> and now uh, you have declared another and then this is a double which means that you know 42 point uh, blah 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 okay that will be captured in the time elapsed okay now 
<coughs> that's why you have put it as double okay now that that's why you have declared this time elapsed variable as double so now it will capture the points as well okay so it will capture the exact time in the time elapsed now you have clear, uh, declared another variable called duration which is also double and you said duration plus time elapsed i'll tell you why this this is important okay so <coughs> Now, just for my, uh, you know, uh, purpose, I have, I am outputting this both the time elapsed and duration as well, so that I'll be able to explain this to you. Now, let me explain this as to how this script works. This is when you will have a better understanding of how this is working. Again, seems to be, um, uh, what do you say, an interview question. That's why I'm explaining. And uh, more or less around this, there are a lot of interview questions, timers and all that. There is, there is some question called, the, there's a coupon that expires for every 10 minutes. How do you handle it? I'm sure you can handle it the same way. There is the coupon that expires for every five minutes uh, and you don't want the script to fail. So exactly after five minutes you want to generate the other coupon you can exactly do it in this way as well um, with, with, with minimum modification you put a little bit of uh, you know thought into it you will know how to convert this script into that particular thing as well okay now I'll execute this and I'll during the execution you will understand how this duration is uh, you know playing the picture and instead of uh, 1800 seconds I'll put five seconds or something like that okay I think I have to put 5.00 because this is double. Okay, but let, let me put it five seconds to see what happens. Okay, um, so let me stand it. Okay, seconds. So it will obviously enter into the while loop. Okay, now the timer we are starting. Now it will wait for that one second. Okay, it will wait for that one second. Okay, now the time elapsed. Now you are ending the timer. Okay, now you are ending the timer, which means that whatever the time it took between. Uh, this statement and this statement that that time will be captured in the type by step execution <clears throat> so two variables started okay now okay now you see the timer has ended and all that time is captured in the time elapsed okay okay so, so it will come out of the okay but kumar sir like now the thing is how what is the purpose of this addition over here you know duration plus duration elapsed okay for that what i'll do is i'll increase this to 30 seconds or something like that okay so now you'll understand the significance of this duration or let me put it as 160 seconds okay yeah <clears throat> now okay it has taken exactly one seconds to execute this one and that uh, the time elapsed now is 4.3 seconds don't uh, you know uh, why there is a difference between this one second and 4.3 seconds because I am doing the step-by-step -step execution and then I'm speaking as well between that it's consuming a lot of time but when you're not doing the step-by-step -step execution you're doing a continuous execution the time the, the time elapsed and then this alert thing time will be more or less same okay now will also be 4.308 now you see the duration is less than 60 seconds no Okay, now what will start will happen. Overall duration is what the okay. Keep doing until this one less second. Okay, it will okay. now it is 30 seconds. You see, okay, so it is it is 30 seconds. Okay, now you know how much time it is. Keep doing it till it's 60 seconds. Uh, and here and seconds. 